My name is Susan Biani and my main claim to fame is to be a mom. I'm a mom of uh, two daughters, Rebecca who's 26 and Nicole who's 22. Uh, Rebecca uses a wheelchair and she doesn't speak uh, and despite the fact that she's totally dependent she lives a very vibrant life contributing to her community. Uh, she is a powerful force changing the world which is her mission. We um, uh, 26 years ago when Rebecca was born uh, and we heard the diagnosis, uh, I think that was a turning point in my life because I began to learn from her right from that stage on. And certainly she has taught us that we need to live in a more loving, compassionate, caring world. And until we do that, peace will never be manifested on earth. Uh, so I also, my passion is to enable Rebecca and others who have a similar mission uh, many of whom don't speak and therefore wouldn't normally have a voice, to have a voice and to enable society to, to see th these prophets that we have in our community, in our midst, um, who are pointing us to a better way of living, uh, a way where all of us are considered together, we're all one and therefore we all need to help each other. Uh, th there are a number of ways that we are trying to assist Rebecca in um, sharing her, her voice. Uh, partly um, it's by having a circle of people around Rebecca who um, can help interpret her dreams, visions, uh, help overcome obstacles and help her move forward in the community. And one of the things that came out of the um, discussions with the circle and Rebecca is that uh, we should create a video. A video uh, of her life that could be professionally done and be used for, as a learning tool for people out there in schools, in hospitals, people who are learning to be professionals, families who need to be inspired, and so on. And uh, we, we got some funding and produced this video called Revel in the Light, the story of Rebecca Biani. Now it's a 12 minute video, uh, so obviously it's not her whole life, it's just a little snippet, but we hope that um, it actually does give a sense of, of her message and the beauty that she brings to that message. Uh, this, this video actually has been shown around the world. There are probably about 500 copies sold uh, in the last, well, I guess, three years. And it's actually been shown down at the United Nations uh, when they were developing a convention on rights for people with disabilities. And it really helped um, the caucus focus on the fact that what's really important are families, communities, relationships, supported uh, decision-making uh, rather than um, independence and service provision. So it's, it's really had a very powerful effect on people and from that we actually then designed a website for Rebecca, www.rebeccabiani.com uh, with Biani spelled B-E-A-Y-N-I uh, and on that website um, there are other stories that can help people learn more and uh, tools that have been helpful for us. Uh, but also what, one um, thing that we're trying to share with other people is uh, um, the idea of groups of people with similar values coming together and finding space where they can ask the questions and deepen in the types of questions that they are asking in good company. And a number of, uh, of, of families, friends and individuals came together probably about 10 years ago for this very purpose. And as much as we sort of uh, didn't want to name ourselves or get organized, uh, we found that uh, society tends to, to like names. So we decided to call ourselves the Ubuntu Initiative. Ubuntu is being spelled U-B-U-N-T-U. And this, this term is a, 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 or concept is a South African Zulu term which um, loosely uh, or is said in a simplistic fashion means my humanity is inextricably bound up with your humanity. I cannot be fully me unless you are fully you or we are all different so we will know our need for each other. Uh, Desmond Tutu actually has uh, written a number of books uh, sort of bringing this term into the global forum uh, uh, with his reconciliation work with people in South Africa. This term really seems to capture what it is we're trying to, trying to grasp and, uh, and trying to bring forward. Uh, and uh, they are the ones that actually had this videotape made.